Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at if refurbishing your GPU actually makes any difference whatsoever. Now, the thinking behind this was that I've always quite fancied refurbishing my own R9 280X since it was a used GPU, but I did not want to go ahead and start stripping that out in case it broke something. So I needed a trial card and to do that I found a HD5850 on eBay for £18 or about $20 and this was going to serve as an absolute perfect base to strip back, to clean up, to practice applying the TIM and then to see what happens. But like a lot of PC components, once you get something in your hands you can't help but start benchmarking it. So that's what I've done. Now this is obviously an old GPU, it originally surfaced in 2009 and this 1GB Sapphire Extreme Edition uh, it was resurfaced in 2011, so even then it is about half a decade old. So I wasn't expecting that much when I installed it in the machine and run a few benchmarks, but I have actually been pleasantly surprised at how it run. The first port of call was obviously to run 3D Mark and see what kind of temperatures we were reaching, and it returned back a fairly average score, just below 2300. I then went forward and overclocked the GPU from its base clock of 725 MHz, added 100 onto that to give it 825, and also increased the RAM from its standard 1 GHz up to 1.1 GHz. This returned a score of 2326, and we've seen the GPU temperature creep up to about 66 degrees. Uh, the second test I did was run in the Tomb Raider benchmark, this is the Tomb Raider 2013 version, and with the Tomb Raider benchmark the well, average at 40.4 FPS and we're seeing again a maximum GPU temperature of 66 degrees. So after preliminary benchmarks had been completed, I removed the card and I took a bit of a closer look. And the first thing that was immediately noticeable was just how monkey this card was. It was disgusting. It obviously had never been cleaned since it was purchased new. And there was hair, there was dust, and everything was completely clogged up. So the first port of call was to strip it back. So we've done this, it was really quite easy to remove the heatsink and the plastic shroud, all it took was four screws to come off, and that left us, we could separate the card and we could see that the thermal interface material was actually extremely dry, it was basically dust, it came off in your hand, it was doing absolutely nothing. So I went ahead and removed the plastic cover, then I gave everything a good clean. So this was done using a mix of high pressure air and some isopropyl alcohol. Now I was really surprised that after about 15 minutes or so, I was able to really clean up uh, both the heatsink, the fan and the PCB. So after this the next stage was to reapply some thermal grease and we used Zalman's ZM STG2 version of grease. Rebuilding the card was as easy as reversing the steps. So the big question is, after we reassembled the card, reinstalled it into the rig, did it actually make a difference? Well, I'm genuinely surprised here to tell you that it made an absolute massive difference. The first port of call once the card was reinstalled was rerunning 3D Mark. Now if you remember, previously we achieved a score of 2326, now this increased to 2606, but more impressive was that the GPU temperature actually dropped on average by 5 degrees. But to really test this, we went back and rerun the benchmarks in Tomb Raider, and what we found is, just like with 3D Mark, it actually increased performance, we averaged an extra frame per second, and this was run over 3 tests. Just to verify that it wasn't a freak increase and it also was running about 3-4 degrees cooler over the course of the test. So having looked at what was happening with the GPU in a bit of closer detail, it was pretty evident that in its current state, the state that I bought it in, it was thermal throttling uh, under high load and cleaning this up has not only improved performance, it's decreased the actual fan noise that you hear from playing and it's gave us a nice little boost. So the question that I asked at the start of this video is, is it worth refurbishing your old GPU? Now, if you've got a spank and new GPU, it's probably not worth your time, but if you've bought a used GPU, or even if your GPU is 3-4 to four years old, it is absolutely worth it. It only takes 15 minutes, and the results are there for everybody to see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be benchmarking the 5850 in the next, so if you liked it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.